Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink and today we are working on tutorial number two for our Once Upon a Time envelope mini album, so stay tuned! Alright, so sometime between me taking these out of the package and starting filming, I lost one of the envelopes. <laughs> Oops. So I just went ahead and created one out of the paper here um, using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Um, I cut this to eight inches by eight inches and then my first score was at four and three eighths of an inch in case you were needing to make envelopes yourself because um, you could could totally do this on your own too without buying the package I suppose. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I went ahead and cut off all the flaps uh, just because I didn't want them on there. You could just leave the flaps there and cover them with pattern paper or not I suppose. Um, you could do some stamping on them, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to remove mine. So I just took my paper trimmer and we are just going to cut right along that part. So I'm just using the score line as my indicator and cutting along the edge of that. Put this to the side again. So these are going to become your pages. So these will all get attached to these tabs just like this and we will be covering them with our pattern paper. So I'm going to attach the pattern paper on this side and punch my notches before we attach our envelopes into our album. So we need to cut um, our cardstock or our pattern paper for at least the fronts of these but because I know they're all going to be the same size I'm going to go ahead and cut 20 of them right off the bat. So just as a reminder This is what we ended up with. So we just ended up with a pocket just like this and a plain page on the back and I put a notch in these just like this. You don't have to put a notch in it. Um, you could, you know, do a half circle with like a circle punch or nothing at all. Really, it's entirely up to you. Um, but I am going to do my notches same as last time and cut all my cardstock for my pages to start. So we have 10 envelopes, so 10 pages times two is 20. So you're gonna wanna take your pattern paper, whatever pattern paper you're using, and you're gonna wanna cut 20 pieces that are five and a half by four and a quarter because our envelopes, oops, our envelopes are four and a half by five and three quarters so I'm going to leave one eighth of an inch around all sides so that's a quarter inch I'll told so four and a quarter by five and a half again you need 20 okay so now that I have all of my pieces cut I'm gonna go ahead and mark ten of them to be cut with my notch punch. So this is the thumb notch by We Are Memory Keepers. Again, you don't have to do a notch at all if you don't want, or you could use, you know, a circle punch and just do, you know, half of it. Um, I'm gonna go through and mark these all at, or mark 10 of these um, at the halfway point so that I can line these up fairly well. 
Okay, so I have gone through and notched all of the front pieces for my envelopes and I have kind of put together all of my pages so that I know which ones I want to have together. And we need to cut, so we should, you should at this point have all of your pieces cut for all of your different envelopes for your pages. So now we need to cut two pieces for our inside, front, and back covers. So you're going to cut these to five and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm going to use this paper for that. So I'm going to cut this to four and three quarters. And then five and three quarters. And then I'm going to use this for my other one. So now I have five and five and three quarters and four and three quarters for my back. And here's my front. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing all of these together. So I'm just going to take my liquid glue. Again, you can use double sided adhesive if you prefer. And I am just going to apply some to the back of my cardstock. And I am going to glue this down just like that. And then I am going to backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto here. So to do this, I'm just going to put glue around all the sides. I'm going to put a little bit on here. And because this is, you know, cut kind of funny, I'm just going to do a deep V and then glue around the rest of it. And then I'm just going to lay this on here like this and press it down. And then we are going to glue these onto here like this. So I'm going to put glue on this. Again, not too much. So good coverage, but not too much. And then I'm going to line my envelope up with it. And I'm going to press this down. So there is our first envelope page attached and then this is going to go on here just over top and this is why you don't want to put all of your cardstock or all of your pattern paper on before you attach these <laughs> and if you wanted to add some extra depth and dimension to these pages you could add like page flaps to these so it would open this way and you'd have more space so lots of options i kept it simple so i'm just going to go ahead and follow that same process for the rest of my pages okay so once you have all of your envelope pages attached to your binding we're going to go ahead and make the inserts for these so i'm going to cut mine to five and a half by four and three quarters so four and three quarters by five and a half four and three quarters three quarters and five and a half so 
you're going to need 10 of those because you have 10 of the envelopes. And then we are going to round all of the corners. So I'm just going to use my crocodile um, and I'm going to round them with the half inch. And you can do a few of those at a time. So I'm just going to take one of the strips that I have from cutting the pages for to cover my envelopes and so I'm going to cut these down to three quarters of an inch. That to the side and then we are going to cut these to fit on here so this is five and a half so we are going to trim them to five and a quarter And because we have 10 and this only makes eight, we're going to need another strip. So I'm just going to take this piece and three quarters, three quarters, and then five and a quarter. And five and And then I am going to grab some light kind of sand colored cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm, I think it was called. <laughs> um, I just like it because I feel like it kind of goes with the colors. I, and I'm gonna make my photo mats out of this. And we are gonna cut, again, we're gonna cut 10 of those and we're gonna cut them to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So, five and a quarter, five and a quarter, and three and three quarters. And again, you're going to need ten of these. Once you have your ten pieces cut to three and three quarters by five and a quarter and you have your ten pieces cut to five and a quarter by three quarters, we are going to take our quarter rounder and on the half inch setting, just like we did for these, we are going to round two corners of these and two corners of these, making sure that you do it on the same side for both. So. So 
So we're gonna do this for all 10 of these. And then we are going to glue these on. So just like this, they're gonna go together. I am not going to stamp them this time. Uh, I'm gonna just leave them open so you can use them for, you know, journaling or photos or combinations thereof. So you're just going to do the rounding on each side and then you're gonna glue them down to match the rounding on your white cardstock. So, just like that. And you're gonna do it for all 10 of your inserts. And then you will have an insert that looks just like that. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that's the end of today's tutorial. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it, and next time we will be finishing, hopefully, the next, the rest of the album. We may need to do two videos. We'll see how long it runs. So I hope everybody enjoyed this, and as always, if you are interested in seeing more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone.